Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create option PNL plots for multiple different strategies. And I created this HTML to give you a brief overview. Now by using the functions in the script, you'll be able to plot PNLs at expiration and any other day before expiration, which will be using the black strolls method in the derives markets package. So you can plot whether you're long or short a strategy. And if we take a look at this call option payoff, we see that we have a long call on the left side and a short call on the right. And if you hover over, this gray line is the PNL estimate prior to expiration on the date that you pass in. So I'll go over those functions shortly, but we do see that for this call at 214.70, our PNL should be around 401. So you can hover over to view different pricings at different levels. And the black vertical line was the current price of the underlying stock. The red shaded regions are the levels where the option is losing money. And the green shaded regions are the gains for the option at expiration. Hopefully you're somewhat familiar with the options payoffs. So you'll be able to display the underlying stock, the option type and strike, the expiration, our break even price, the current price level of the underlying stock, and lastly, the option price. So if you're long a call option, it'll gain in price as the stock moves further up. So we have payoffs for call options. We have payoffs for put options. You're also gonna be able to plot verticals, whether you're long or short for both calls and puts. Now here for the condors and for other strategies, you'll notice a plus sign, which means that we are long the strike and a negative sign, meaning that we're short. And for some of these, you'll notice that the option price or the spread price in this case is positive when we're long and it'll be negative when we're short. We also have the payoffs for iron condors. We also have straddles and strangles. And lastly, we have our butterfly strategy, whether you're long or short. Let's take a look at our script to go over these functions. Now for most of our script, we're just gonna be putting together the payoffs of a call or a put. And we need to create the payoffs at expiration for the calls and the puts along with functions that'll calculate our PLs before expiration. Now it's pretty simple to calculate the payoffs at expiration since we're just looking at whether the stock closed above or below our strikes. But if we calculate our PLs prior to expiration, we need to estimate our option pricing at different price levels. And because of that, we need to insert a risk-free rate. So please make sure you assign that in line 10 or modify it as time goes by. Now for our first function, we're gonna calculate our payoff for a call option where we pass in our payoff object, which is just a data frame with different price levels for the underlying. We also need to pass in our strike, the call price, and a Boolean of whether we're short the strike or not. So if we take a look at this function. So this will return the series of our PNL at expiration. So we need to check if the underlying is less than our option strike. If it is, then our option is worthless. So we need to subtract the call price or what we paid for this option, which gets passed in. And that would be inverse if we're short the strike since we're collecting the premium. We need to take the underlying price subtract the strike and we also need to subtract the option premium and multiply that by 100. So these will plot the PLs for one option contract and similarly we have our function for the puts at expiration. So again just checking where the price closed and comparing that to our strike. Now to give us our PL prior to expiration we need to pass in the volatility for the trade date that we want so long as it's before the option expiry and we also need to pass in the risk-free rate. So if we open up this function, we're gonna use the rib markets and we're gonna be using the black Scholes engine to give us an approximate price for the option. For these functions, you'll get the net price. So it'll always display the PNL considering the premium you paid or collected. And similarly, we have our function for our PNLs prior to expiration for the put side. So we're gonna be using those four functions to calculate our PNLs for all the different strategies. We have a total of nine different strategies, but for the call option, we need to pass in all of these parameters. And if we open up this function, we're gonna start off by calculating our break-even point. Secondly, given that we have the underlying price, we need to calculate a range for the underlying so that we can estimate our payoff. So it's gonna grab the underlying price and we're gonna create an upper and lower range. So if you pass in a 0.1 for percentage range, it's gonna return a 10% below and above the current underlying price. 
And once we have the upper and lower limits, we're gonna create a sequence of pricing in 10 cent intervals. And that data frame is gonna get passed in to calculate our P&Ls at and before expiration. So we have our chunks for calculating when our option is short, if that sets it true and long otherwise. And finally, we're just gonna add our plot using iCharter. And for the put side, it's very similar. We calculate our break even points, the stock range, check whether we're short or long, get the pricing at expiration and prior to expiration. And finally, use high charter to create the plot. So for the rest of these functions, the only thing that might change is our break even points. And if the strategy involves multiple legs, we need to make sure we calculate the payoffs for each of those. So as you see here, we have a short call and a long call. We need to return the pricing for both of these at expiration and add them together to get the net price. Same thing for our PLs prior to expiration. So here we have the chunk for our short version and the long version. And finally, just add that data to our chart. We have vertical put spreads. The only thing that really changes is what methods we're using here. Just make sure you're calling the correct methods. So here we have our put at expiration and our put PL functions. And then finally, just return the plot. For the condors, make sure that you match up the implied volatilities with the strikes, which are numbered here. So for the long strike one, you would use eyeball long one. And I did put these in order so that you don't get confused. And if we open up this function here, so we repeat the process where we calculate our spread cost along with the sequence for the underlying stock. So as I mentioned, we do need to calculate the payoffs for each of the strikes. So for the condor, we combine all of the four strikes into one to get the net price. Similarly, for the PL, you need to make sure that you calculate the payoff for each of the strikes in order to get the net. So this is for the long side. We do a bit of formatting on the break-even pricing and the name that will be displayed in our chart. The more complicated spreads are probably the condors and the iron condors just because of the number of legs that we have. But luckily for this one, we have a call side and a put side. So that makes it relatively easy to work with. The only check that we need to make is for the name and the break evens, depending on whether you're long or short the spread. For the straddle and strangles, these are relatively straightforward. Again, just calculating the pricing at expiration and our PL prior to, depending on whether we're short or long. And finally, just returning the plot. Same thing for the strangle. We just have different strikes that we're using, but essentially everything remains pretty straightforward. And for this one, this one needs to be changed to strangle. And finally, we have our butterfly. Now I tried to make this as simple as I could. So we have a low wing strike, the body and the high wing strike. So you're gonna need to get the implied volatilities for the low, the body and the high wing. So for this one, just make sure you add the correct strike price and implied volatility for the correct wing. And the only additional major change that we made for this one is that the body price needs to be multiplied times two. And after we get the option pricing for the spread, we can go ahead and plot it. This has two different sections. One is for the call side and this is for the put side. So everything will just be inserting values for the parameters, which you can manually do. Or if you have some sort of data source or grab a quote for the option, most of the data can be pulled from there. Well, with that guys, this concludes the video. I hope this was useful information. I'll leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you can find the script. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.